Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing delete. So, I have a confession to make. I've actually never done uh, delete before with Go. Because in my work that I work at, we do logical deletes. So we have a visible flag, and we set that to 0 or 1, and when we query, we query only rows that have a visible of 1. So this is actually a new experience for me as well, but it should be pretty simple. I can't imagine it being too much more complicated. But anyway, just so you guys are aware, you know, that's what's going on. Okay, so this time I decided to actually, I think, use server-side first. So let's go ahead and jump on the router. We need to create a route for it. So this should be the exact same as the update, except for it is a delete. So destroy, and the verb is delete. And then we can go to here and say new file, delete.go. And uh, actually, we should probably name that destroy, destroy.go. And then we'll take the update um, set here. We'll paste that in. Uh, we don't need to actually save any user data. We just need to get that ID. And then we need to go, and we don't actually need to marshal well, we might as well marshal back the one that we deleted, right? There's no reason not to. Um, and then we need to go into the DB system here. Look at destroy here. Just an ID and a model. Delete. ID, delete, model. Okay. And that seems a little bit funky. XORM, delete. <coughs> So, we'll go to your docs here. Because it seems like you would just pass in an ID. I don't see why you would need... I guess if you need the table name... You know, we're just going to try it. We're just going to try it. Forget it. We're just, just going to try it. So, uh, destroy user.id and then user. Because then you can get the table name out of this. That, that actually does make sense. Um, and then uh, delete, or just destroy, right? Destroy. So we do need the str do need the string conversion. We need log. We need mux, and we need JSON encoding. We need the DB. We need the users. Okay, that should be it, and that should just compile right off the bat. There we go. Builds. Okay, server side's done. Nice and easy. Um, let's go over to this side over here. We need a destroy function. Can actually just use the update one because it's basically the same. I'll destroy, destroy, and then um, we're gonna actually use an ID here. And we're gonna save the ID like, oops, like uh, so, and it is a delete operation. And um, we don't need to actually pass any data, um, so we're gonna do we're gonna do an empty object here. Um, params, delete, users, delete, destroy, okay, and then on the index page for, oh, that's server side, on the index page, well, let's uh, make sure that everything's still working, users, nick, to, save, okay, um, on the users index page here, when you click this delete button here, it's going to call that dispatch and then reload and it's going to recall this index function here. So first what we need to do is we need to do a uh, at click dot prevent and then we're going to just say destroy um, user dot id. So when you create that method methods destroy with an id as the first argument and that's going to be vm dot dispatch destroy destroy with ID as the argument and then oops then uh, response and it's just going to call this index function again so let VM equals this and that should actually be it that should just work so we're going to delete and make sure it's gone and it is that was easy hey guys we're done <laughs> nice and easy. Okay, so that was uh, Destroy with uh, um, Golang and uh, Vue.js. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think in the in the um, comment section down there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, message me. And once again, all this data will be on GitHub with the link in the description. All right, gentlemen, thank you and ladies, and we'll see you guys next time.